What are you doing? Why aren't you cleaning up? I will later, I promise. Promises, promises my foot. I've been cleaning up for you. Doing all your work for you. And you said that you would clean up last time. Start cleaning up. Shut up, I'll do it soon. No, you won't. Clean up now. Go downstairs and clean up. You left a big mess in the kitchen. Oh, yeah? Stop! Do you want to die? Do you want me to kill you? Stop it! Oh, yeah, well... I wish you were dead. Don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it! No! Ugh. Get out of my room. Mom told me to get you in the house now. Get in the house. Get in the house now! Wait! What are you even doing? I'm looking at my garden. I know that. Stop! Get in the house. Ow! Go! Ow! I don't care about you. Stop crying and get in the house. It's only like 6.45, but I'm going to sleep now. 
I'm really tired. Who's this? That's you, Katie. Get the heck out of my room. You see the sign on the front door, Crispin only. Mom, I'm going to bed, if, if that's you. Who's that? No, who are you? Stop! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Ugh. <clears throat> Now!
Kristen. Hey, it's Crispin, not Kristen. Spelling is stupid. Oh yeah? You think spelling is stupid because you just fail in school. You you don't take the time to learn like I do. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take your math! I wish you were dead. Hey, did you say that about me? No, I said it about Mother. That's even worse. Why were you and Mother fighting anyways? Why is your eye bleeding? Uh, confidential information. Uh, fine, yeah, fair enough. What time is it? It's already five o'clock. Where did Mother go? She went up to her bed already and she's not gonna wake up till next morning. <laughs> what do you do to make her so mad? Throw asparagus in her face or something? I'm gonna watch some TV. Hello, I hope that you're enjoying your evening and the kids are enjoying their winter break. Cloudy skies getting later into the night with a low of 30 degrees. It's sure been a warm winter break so far. Let's move over to electronics with Techno Tom. Tom? Thanks Jasmine. Today we have a breakthrough in AI or artificial intelligence technology. A scientist in Florida has discovered how to make nanobots, or as he calls them robo-seekers, that can be hidden in everyday objects. And if they pick up anybody talking about anything suspicious, they alert you. Whether it be by call, text, or email. The authorities are calling the machines manufactured by God, because they have already thwarted multiple possible terrorist attacks just by hiding these robo-seekers in public places. However, these amazingly useful robots can be used for the worst. If these nanobots got in the wrong hands, secrets and personal information that they collected could be leaked. May even be used for revenge. Now I'll hand it over to Violet, who is giving us our money saver. Violet, what can we expect? Violet? Violet? James. What, what? Hello? Uh, cut, cut.
Got the black eye, huh? Oh. You don't even know how I got the black eye. How many eggs do you want? I don't want any. Where's mom? Oh, she actually just left for the store right when he woke up. I think she's like in her car right now, about to leave. I had a weird dream last night. Really? Yep. What was it about? A gnome. A gnome? Yep. It was weird. Did, 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 didn't you wish mom to die yesterday? Yeah. I can't believe mom had to go like that. It was all your fault! Well, at least we get to see dad. No, we don't get to see dad. He's dead. What? Mom told you that Dad divorced and went to Florida when you were two. But the truth is, he died in a car accident when you were two. Mom didn't want... Mom wanted to have you have hope that Dad was still alive, but he's not! Dad is dead! So, I don't know who we're going to stay with, I don't know what we're going to do, but it's all your fault for saying you hate mom and now this happens. So now, we're going to be here for um, probably forever. And I don't want to stay here in grandma's house, it's creepy. And now everyone's dead. 
and it's all your fault. Why do you have walnuts for my grandma? Those aren't for your grandma. So who are they for? They're for my neighbor. Mrs. Johnson is my grandma. It's my neighbor. Wait. Your neighbor is my grandma. And you're giving a gift to her? Yeah, dude, that's your thick skull yours. What? But, hey, grass almost beat in my boat last time we fought. You did a pretty good job. I almost couldn't fight you back. Until I summoned up the courage to punch you. I don't know how I did that. Sorry I heard your mom died. Hey, Katie. Do you know where my flashlight is? It's in the basement. Okay. Where's my flashlight? Oh, here it is. Downstairs getting my flashlight. And there was a sign there that said, I am the gnome. I was watching a news that news story. I think that someone put a nanobot inside the gnome and is controlling the gnome with the nanobot. And I even have this to prove it. So whenever we destroy the gnome, we'll find out who it is. And we'll kill that poor old person for killing mom. But don't you forget, it's also your fault too. So you're gonna to have to help me find the gnome. Come on. Yes, you have to help me. I know there are clues around the house that point to the gnome is here. All right, fine. If you're not going to find him, I will.
Who are you? Crispin. I have a very important message for you. Ah! Ah! Oh my. Who is that? Travis? Crispin, I found you in this clearing. Well, what happened? What? I don't know. Let's go back to your room. There was a guy right there. Where'd he go? Do you see a guy? No. What is that? What's oh my gosh, dude. This explains everything. I know who that guy back there was. I don't know how he disappeared, but... Come on, I'll tell you in the house. Dear Crispin, I have left this paper aside in the likely cause that I die. I am Dr. Robinson and I'm a colleague of my fellow scientist, Dr. Smith. Eight years ago, another very talented scientist, Dr. Richford, joined our mist. We began working on a special robot together that could track things people were saying. We made it expandable and artificially intelligent, but Dr. Richford wanted to use this machine for power and revenge. Dr. Smith figured out and fired him, but not before he left with a hidden handful of nanobots. Me and Dr. Smith have figured out that he is hunting you and Katie down but we haven't figured out why. We do know that Dr. Richford was a stolen identity and that his real name is, so, doc, it, it doesn't say his, his full name. Someone must have cut it out or it got lost. I don't know what to take from this, but all I know is that the gnome is hunting us down and I want you to help us. Okay, Travis? Wanna go watch the movie? Who is that? Isn't that the guy who almost beat your... No, this is Travis. He's going to help us out to try to find the gnome. After we watch TV, we're going to try to find the gnome. And I think I may know where the gnome is. I'm ready to turn in, aren't you? What? No. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. <sighs> Tomorrow, oh. I think we'll find the gnome upstairs. We've never gone up there, but I think he's either upstairs in the basement. So we're gonna find him. Tomorrow. Okay, so I just finished brushing my teeth, so now we can come up with our plan to uh, we'll find the note, I guess. Well, what would we know? I mean, we have no clue where it could be. That's true, we don't know where it could be, but I, like I said last night, I think it's upstairs. I, I already found it in the basement, so we should probably check down there, but I think it's upstairs. 
But the thing is, I don't want any more of us getting killed. So if we're going to try to find it, we need to get a weapon. Yeah. I like my wooden bats. I don't think my grandma has any wooden bats. I think she donated them, her, all her kid stuff away. I don't... I, I, I think my grandpa has a firearm, but I'm not sure where he keeps it, and if I ask him for it. Well, probably you'll be like, you you planning on killing someone, boy? I mean, I am going to kill the person who killed my mom. But yeah. How about knives? Yeah, sure. She has I mean, lots of those. Yeah, we're bound to be like in the kitchen. Yeah, let's What's go in the kitchen. kitchen. So where did you keep the girls? Uh, I think she keeps the knives in there. Uh, I think she keeps the knives in there. Uh, I think we have the year of 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 the this is Grandma's house, we are here. We're gonna make up we're here, which I think there's a closet. We're gonna open the closet, we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna go in there. Then we're gonna uh, destroy this thing by pressing this button, and I think the button is in here, with this TV room being here. And then I think we go in here, and we do this, get this done, get this done, get this done, and done. You know what? I think it'd be better if we just maybe win it for ourselves. Why don't we, our only plan should be to just, just try to stick together, all right? Yep. So let's go upstairs and try it. Have your knives? Yeah. I don't have anything. We'll protect you, don't worry. We're sticking together. Remember the plan? It's not that hard to forget, so I don't think you ever will. Let's, let's try out that door first. Here, where's my knife? What? Where's my knife? Your knife's gone? Yeah. Just set it on the table. Where was it? Nice. Left it on the table. I don't see it on the table here. That's on. Well, I still got my knife. That's fine. Besides, I... Take it out. I don't think there's anything in here. This is just a well, closet. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything in here. We can just get out. Let's check out the bathroom. Um, guys, I think someone lives here. Hmm. There's shaving supplies and clothes. Not much here. Let's go. This room's kind of creepy. Yeah. Strange. Place is totally a library. What about that closet? There's nothing in the closet. So let me check. See, absolutely nothing. There's a bell. Besides that, there's absolutely nothing. Half. Have Travis check it. Travis check the other half. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh! Travis. Travis. Is he in there? No. What about that one? Let me check. No, he's not in here. What about that one? It's 
Not in here. Oh. I I heard the bell right after he yelled. He's not in here. Where'd he go? Travis, Tra oh, wait, there's a note here. I am the gnome. I don't care. I was friends with him now. And it's all my fault that he's gone. I said the plan was to sit together. That's that's what I said. But I just left him. I closed the door on him. <laughs> and I think I know who took him. The gnome. That's the only reasonable explanation. We'll find him. And you're the reason why he's gone. It's not my fault. You are the reason why he's gone. You started all of this. When you, when, when you were playing in my room instead of cleaning up. Why can't you just clean up? Well, you know what? We're safe on this floor of the house. Downstairs and upstairs are... We're unsafe. But Grandma and Grandpa are here. And the gnome's not going to come here. Tomorrow, you and me are going to go into the basement to try to find any clues and possibly find Travis. All right? All right. Wait, there's one more room upstairs. We'll do that after we do uh, the basement. I'm going to bed. Me too. We'll do tomorrow. Night. Not a good night. I feel bad for Chris, Ben. I should probably go down there and find Travis. Listen, Katie, I'm really sorry about what I said last night. <sighs> Katie? Katie?
Katie. 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 Where are you? She's not in the basement. Oh my god. Ah. Travis, what are you hiding back there? What is that? What is that? Katie? Oh! Travis, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> ah! Travis, Travis, are you okay? What is this? What is Oh my gosh. Katie. Katie. I think I, I just killed Travis. Come on. Where is he? What? He was right there. I I killed him. He was. He was, he was acting weird or something, kind of moving like a robot, and I, a, a robot, a, nanobot, there's a nanobot inside, inside the gnome, there must be a nanobot inside him, put inside him by the person who's controlling the gnome, and then, I assume he captured you, what, what happened when you, when you were down there? I went down, lights blinked. And then I woke up and you cut off my tape. He... Uh, I... I know where the gnome is. He's upstairs in that room we didn't check. And I'm going by myself. You are not coming. I am going to kill the gnome. Okay. By myself. No, I'm coming with you. You are not coming with me. You're the person who started all of this. It's all your fault, and don't you ever think you're gonna come with me? Oh!
know. The person behind the gnome isn't here. But you're t yeah. No, 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 no. I am not dead. I faked my death. Let me start from the beginning. I was a bad father to you, Katie. I was always at the bar. I had horrible, terrible ideas, and your mom was concerned for me. We got into a fight one day, and she said if I did anything evil ever, she would call the cops on me. I was so mad that I thought she didn't love me anymore. I didn't know that she still loved me. She loved me more than I could have ever imagined. But I didn't trust her. I faked my death in a car accident and I moved to Florida. I needed to get a job there and luckily I found two scientists that needed a third accomplice for the project they were working on. I took the interview as a fake scientist at the Elias Dr. Richard and they hired me. The two in rather ingenious scientists, I must say, were working on nanobots they called RoboSeekers. You probably already saw the news story about them, so you know all about them, so I don't have to go too in depth about them. I thought I I I was so mad that about that fight with your mom that I thought I had to kill her. I I I was so mad that I just wanted to kill my whole family. And I thought that maybe using the robo seekers I could I I could kill. I could kill my family. So I murdered one of my accomplices, Dr. Smith and ran away from the lab with a box full of robo stickers. However, the other scientist, Dr. Robinson, saw me leaving with the nanobots, and I could tell he knew that I was up to something. I went back into our lab house and hit him over the head, which I thought killed him. It didn't. I didn't know that though, when I took a flight up here in uh, Hamburg Park, where I found my family was still living in the house that I left. Full of rage and uncontrolled anger, I vowed to kill my whole family. I saw that you all hated each other, which, which was my perfect chance to try and kill you. I put a robo seeker inside a gnome that I purchased at a thrift shop. For although Dr. Smith and Dr. Robinson both intended the robo seekers for good, I, I was greedy and only wanted power and revenge and, and, and to kill my whole family. I programmed the AI robo seeker to attack you, using the gnome as kind of a frame or a body for the AI robo seeker to move around in. I snuck into your house, you may want to lock your door after you go inside, and try to kill you. 
but I couldn't. I just loved you too much. However, I heard that the local news station was going to do a news story on RoboSeekers. I didn't want anyone to get too much information, so I decided to blow up the news building. However, I arrived a little too late. The news story had already finished. That night, I tried to kill Katie, but I just couldn't. The next day, however, I overheard using the gnome that your mother was going on errands the next morning. I set a car bomb in your mom's car. And... I, I then tracked you down to your grandmother's after you sent to live there. However, Dr. Robinson knew you were in trouble. I saw him driving around town and I knew that I had to think fast. Then I remembered when Dr. Robinson swallowed a RoboSeeker as an experiment we found out that it can expand inside your body and control you. But Dr. Robinson did not let control overtake him. Then I remembered RoboSeekers could send signals. So I programmed the gnome to wirelessly send a message to Dr. Robinson's RoboSeeker inside of him to self-destruct. You watched him die. I then hit you over the head thinking you dead. However, I was wrong yet again. I then decided to use the gnome to kill Katie, but when she yelled, Help me, Daddy. Help me, Daddy! I, I had to stop the gnome. I sent in a message and it retreated back to me. But when I found out you and your new friend Travis got a hold of a piece of paper that Dr. Robinson left that almost had my name on it, Drake Bickler, not doctor something as he thought i i couldn't take it i kidnapped travis and force fed a robo seeker to him which was programmed to kill you 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 ruined my terrible and nefarious plan and and killed him by accident which got me so upset that i lost it and programmed the gnome to kill and attack any leaving bickler however it backfired and attacked me I have now realized what I have done. And now you I, 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 I promise I will change kill my ways. My <laughs> mother. I, I know you kill my mother! Sorry. No. It's too late. You've killed my mother. No! 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 You I need to tell you my mind. mind! Defeat the nut! <coughs> Wait, no, 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 dead, 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 tell me. What is it? What is it? No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Change my clothes. I'm sorry. I just went upstairs and I just. I just killed Dad. Dad is the person behind the gnome, but the gnome is now turning into its own AI being. It is now trying to attack us, so we need to find it. Let's go.
Wait. I don't think we have to go to the gnome. I... I think the gnome will come to us. Oh, no. Here. He's here! Run! Are you okay? Uh, I don't know. Go back inside. It's not safe anymore. Wait, no, Katie. I will kill Katie. No, 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 Katie. No, 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 no. Kill me instead. Kill me instead. Stop, 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 no, 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 no. I have to tell you whoa, one more thing. Katie. When I kept telling you that I hated you, when I was yelling, upset at you, saying that I wish you were dead, all the times that I've slapped you, told you it was all your fault, well, now I realize that I'm wrong. It's all my fault. I love you, Katie. And I would do anything for you because you're my sister. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm sending thanks to you. But there is one person that I hate. And that is... The gnome! Crispin, did you mean what you said about me when you were talking to the gnome? Yes. <coughs> now that the gnome's gone, I think we should just appreciate what we have. And remember our best friend, Travis. And always appreciate everything because when they leave, and it's all your fault, but you said you'd never be sorry when they leave, and you find out that it is, and you feel even more guilty that it's your fault. And it is all my fault. I've done so many wrong things. I was the one who deserved to die instead of Travis. I was the one who deserved to die instead of Mother. I was the one who deserved to get hurt instead of you. Yes, life is weird. Well, I know one thing, I'm not messing with robots ever again.
no, no, who are you? No, no, stop, stop. It can go. Hello, I hope that you're enjoying your... Okay. Look to the camera. Well, I can't see. Am I done? That's good. There's no way I could get you back. <laughs> get you back. Wow, <laughs> yeah. Hey, congrats on almost beating my butt last time. <laughs> we fought. Congrats on almost beating my butt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, congrats on almost beating my butt. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that was way too late. <laughs> so why'd you have to go and write that? I know that the gnome is something that's real. You're spitting on me. Come on. Yes. Okay, fine. Let's oh no. My finger is in the pig. <laughs> You, you're too embarrassed by that shirt. I mean, yes. I understand, but it's a pretty bad shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Just came back from brushing my teeth. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is this time? You, you just ruined this. Do you realize? Hey guys, just finished brushing my teeth. So. Hey guys, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna break it. It's gonna break it. He's touching the nose. The problem is. <laughs> hey guys, so. I just finished. <laughs> 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 Why do you say hey you guys? You're not a freaking YouTuber. Well, that's the movie after the. Wait. Tim. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What's a plan? Our plan? Well, well, that's convenient. Yes, it is. <laughs> Disappears. What? Oh, no, you did not. Elizabeth. What did she do? She was like, What? You were taking what? a long time. Because I thought we were still supposed to be married. Strange. What's totally a library? What about that closet? There's nothing in the closet, so. Let me check. See? Absolutely nothing. There's a bell. I think we just permanently lost him. Scream. Travis? <laughs> what? No! You're supposed to walk here, okay?
关，<笑>没吗？<笑><笑>